Alrighty, I'm going to teach you guys how to install a hard drive into a computer that doesn't have enough storage or you just want to add one. This one is a pre-built. It should be the exact same for every single PC. Uh, so all you're going to need is a SATA cable, which looks like this. It's just a little L shape and then has clips on it to hold it in. And then the hard drive or SSD, whatever you choose. This one is a hard drive. It, it, it's probably the best for the money. Uh, two terabyte. 7200 rpm it's probably the best bang for your buck if you already have an m2 ssd you probably don't need a second one this one's just going to be holding steam games that i play so it doesn't need to be anything fancy so first things first you want to take off the both side panels on your pc depending if you have to go in through the side but you should always take off both sides just to be safe next you want to unplug the power supply so it's nothing's plugged in and then you're going to take this out of cable i'll just stand it up like so and plug it in. So look at the L shape on the little guy there where the gold is. Plug it in until it clicks. Next you want to take the power supply cable which is this one and you want to plug it in. Now because I don't have any slack I'm gonna to have to pause the video to use two hands and get it plugged into the larger L shape. Now usually at this point after you have both the cables on you would put it in a disk tray. So I have one there and I have a, also have an extra one there but they both don't fit in this computer because it didn't come with any and there's absolutely no screws to put in. So I would highly recommend put it in a gosh darn tray because you don't want this thing to shift around. I don't have an option. I will have to go with double sided sticky tape or something and hope that it stays but I don't recommend doing this. Uh, if you leave your PC sitting at the same spot all the time it will be fine if not it's uh you're going to have a bad time you're going to break the hard drive ssds are much easier uh they don't have any moving mechanical parts but hard drives do so i'm just going to toss it in like that next you take your sata cable and you put it through the closest hole to your motherboard so i'm going to go with the lower one because there's already a bunch going through and jam her in there Next, head on over to the other side. Now, I'm fortunate because I have SATAs right there that are super easy to get to, and then I have two more SATAs down there. So they're L-shapes as well. Take whatever end you have left and just plug it in. Pardon me. And that's it. So that's it all hooked up, and I'll teach you guys how to format it. Alrighty, so after it's all, I, I would always recommend trying to do this before you close the PC just in case it didn't work and you have to turn it back off and do it again. So as the PC is still open, do not put your hands in there unless it's unplugged. I can't stress that enough. I've seen so many people almost get zapped. Hold on, let me turn off the light. So all you have to do at this point is start it up like normal. Windows will launch off your already installed drive. We're just going to have to format this card and give it a name. So always the first one is called C and you can name the other one E or D. I usually go D for hard drive knowing that's just for my Steam games because that seems to be the going thing that I do on all my PCs. It's just a hard drive for the big Steam games I play. This might take a little bit of a while. <sighs> the fastest M2 boot up in the world. Alright, so after it loads up, just type in the old password. Then you're going to see this screen like normal. And we're just going to search format. And then you'll see create format, hard disk, click on it, and you will see your current drive with Windows, and you'll see this one that will say unallocated. So you click it, and you click new sample, and it'll ask you just to do all this. It will say what's the max size you want to make available, you do the max size. Uh, and then this is where you get to select the letter. So you'll have to remember what letter you select. I always go D for hard drive, and then next, and then new format, NTFS. Uh, perform a quick format. Uh, this should all be good. Next. Finish. Now, this thing is open and ready for business.